All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Ita. It's Ita? I don't know. It's a it's a bullet hell game. I don't actually know if there's anything other than bosses, so it might be a bullet hell boss rush, but with kind of a Titan Souls. Well, I mean, it's it's Titan Souls plus Toho, Titan Toho, Titan Toho, Toho Souls. Toho Souls has a different f feel. It feels like misrepresenting things. Anyway, uh, let's see. I want to go back for just a second. I want to check the options. That's better. Ooh, this resolution. I don't think this resolution changes a dang thing, but still. Uh, that should be okay. So here's the thing that I specifically wanted to look at. Accessibility. Invincibility or damage multiplier. These are important because I'm going to suck at this game. So let's get going. So, this is very much a proper bullet hell. And that sort of thing gets real spooky for me because I'm not very good at those. I'm bad at dodging bullets. Gungeon, the I only have ever beaten the dragon like three or four times, and even then it wasn't pleasant. And so it's always a bit it's always a bit spooky playing playing anything with like just massive bullet saturation. I understand why people like it, and I can absolutely see the appeal. It, I'm just it's not the kind of thing that usually uh, works on my end, but that's okay. Well, that's a bad start. Why does my head hurt so badly? What? Wh what happened? Father? Brother? Koki? It is this a dream? I don't recognize this place. Wait, where's Mother? Wait. I'm betting. That's our cat's soul, maybe. Hello! Oh dear, this is a mess, isn't it? Huh. You're not the one who summoned me, are you? you must have been one of the dead ones, then. This game might be a little loud. Let's turn it down a bit. Huh. Not the old one. Uh, where's the... There we go. That's better. Not the young one, either. Oh, it was this little guy. Cat souls. This is not Titan souls, this is cat souls. Look how adorable I am. I've got a cute little tail and everything. All right, so should we head out to find your mother? Who are you? My apologies, I'm your new astral guardian. Uh, and as your astral guardian, I think we should go and find your mother. Though you'll need a weapon out there. Hmm, let's see. Oh, here we go. We'll use your father's revolver. Phew, that spirit transformation took a lot out of me. I don't think I can do that again. Movement's pretty slick. And I can just shoot. Alright, this is exciting. Uh, can I dodge? Don't know. Well, time to go find Mother Dearest with Gun Dearest. Ooh, I like these visuals. I'm liking this music, too. This is, this is pretty, pretty good stuff. Uh, so I've known about this game for... Gosh, I don't even know. It's been a, it's been a while. I... I found out about the game, I think, via... It was either Reddit or Twitter. But I just saw, like, a basic gif of the environment. I had no idea what kind of thing I was getting into. I don't think you'll be able to break these pillars with your revolver. Okay. Father's name was Gunter. Gunter! Oh, that switch is a little too high for you to reach. Maybe you should try shooting it. There we go. Now, I'm getting, I'm getting some hard, like, Titan Souls slash, like, Hyper Light Drifter vibes, but with a little bit more, uh, with a little bit more, I mean, dialogue, I guess. Which is actually something I feel like both games would have benefited from, but that's mostly my perspective. I like games, the more lore, the more story in a game, generally, not always the better, but relatively. Ah! Oh, hello! Is it, uh, it is around that time, isn't it? Another new face in the garden, though you seem a bit different. Different? Yes, quite different, in fact. Nonetheless, I won't impede your progress any longer. We all know what you're here to do. What I'm here to do? Such an inquisitive child, unfortunately, I've no time to explain. Your first test awaits you at the top of the hill. Best move along now. Don't die too many times. Oh... 
Sweet masky business. Should I call for an assist? What do you guys think? I feel like I need... Hmm. 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 Okay. Oh, see that little creature? That's a spirit collector. Little things just wander around picking up stray spirit. Shoot it. Tainted spirits. These spirits will not replenish it if lost before death. Okay, so they're spirit hearts, but I can only have two. It looks like. I... What else can I kill? And or break. Oh, that's like a weird, creepy, oozing statue thing. Okay. Okay. So, I can destroy the red ones. I have to roll through the other ones. That is a brilliant tutorial. Time for horrors. This might be a bit loud. This is very loud. I apologize. Okay, this might actually not be so bad. At least not currently. I spoke too soon. We will see. Okay, looks like I can, in fact, kill them. This is good times. Yup. And it looks like the masks are infinite. Oh, I did take some damage there. I'm gonna pull my shield around him. That's a bit of a pain. Got him. All right. Looks kind of easier than Gunjin. Yeah, it kind of is, actually. There's only one enemy shooting at you generally, too, so it's a little easier. Ah, some good tea. Hi. Oh, so that implies that there's X number of bosses. Wow, did you see its spirit? It's been a long time since I've seen a spirit implode. I, I killed that thing? To be fair, it attacked you. Uh... Well, that's not Mommy Dearest. All right, I'm going to turn the music down a bunch. There we go. That should be slightly less horror noise. Old man? Old man! Come back here, spirit thing. Give me health. Oh, there's a frog on this. Oh, so I have to kill X number of enemies. We might actually want to go back up and go over there, because I can't get to this. I don't think. Those pillars in the way. Maybe I can't get to that, or we have to go back. Oh yeah, this is down, so we can go through here. So yeah, definitely going with the Titan Souls feel, but that's okay. I actually, I don't know, I liked Titan Souls. It was brutal, but it was fascinating and fun to play. Anything interesting back here? I know the ghost went back here, but nah, it looks like it's boring. Are we the baddies? I don't know if we're the baddies. There's definitely some, like... Oh, there's a dude up there. There's definitely kind of a dubious nature of what I'm I'm doing, sort of. Well, I found Mommy. Mother? Ida, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's happening. What's on you? I, I left you to find help, but this thing... It, it has me. I'm sorry, but... I'm finding it hard to speak, to breathe. We can rip it off, can't we? No. I can feel it around my heart. Move along, Ida. Find your way home. Be brave. Can I... Can I go Rudy Tutti Gun and shoot Goopy? Or should we just... 
In the beginning, she was welcoming the strangers, empathizing with their bloody and confused arrival. Most who arrive do not return the kindness, though. They can't comprehend their new reality. Mono has tried, or Mono? Mono has tried to appease them, offering them a new life free of worldly constraints. But these offerings never seem to erase the resentment for lost loved ones. They've begun to find solace in a priest that recently arrived. He's been granting miracles to the garden's inhabitants. Mono has suggested locking him within a chamber, fearing his influence is growing too great. This will not end well. Huh. Oh, and she's gone. Ita, I was wondering when we'd cross paths. How do you know my name? Hmm, I'm not sure you should know that. At least, not yet. What? You have a beast within you, and you don't even realize it. I don't know what you're talking about. In time, Ita. In time. Oh, let's go back. There's some stuff that I passed by. Trust giant crying head more than the spirit hat. Hat. I... I don't... Huh. Maybe. Anything in these boxes? No, but I can interact with that. Hello. Forgive my appearance. I haven't been able to move in many, many years. What are you? Huh. I suppose you haven't been here long. I am a stone golem child. Long ago, we were created to build this garden. It was shaped by our hands. Once our strength was no longer needed, they stripped us of our ability to move. Somehow my brother avoided it. He escaped long ago. I hope he's far away. Please tell him I said hello if you cross paths. Let him know that I've made peace with this situation. Whoops. I'm I'm digging this. There's just the right level of cryptic hmm to make me think. The environments are wild. Like slightly barfy statue thing. Why not? <laughs> the little animations are kinda cute. Alright, here we go. Oh boy, another one. Don't worry, you'll rot here like the rest of us. What? Go away! It's just a splash of psychological horror. A little bit more than a splash. New gun. Physical weapons. Take them to the smithy to re receive spirit weapon. Huh. These maps don't add up. The statue of an old king. His arm is blocking... Oh, a child! What's a child doing here? Regardless, you shouldn't be wandering around here lost. Please take this map. It's not perfect, but it'll do. If you find any old maps about, bring them to me. Keep those eyes peeled for old maps. So we have a map. We are here. So we beat this boss. There's something in there. There's the anvil. But I don't think we can get to it. Because we need the ability to break. So we want to go back over and down. I'm really digging this. This is everything I wanted out of Titan Souls. Just just enough story to make me constantly interested, I guess. Oh, hi. Hello there. When did you arrive? I'm not sure. Ah, oh, so recently. It's been some time since my arrival. Though I clearly remember the confusion I felt. How are... Is that a spirit weapon? What? That glowing revolver, where did you get it? I made it for her. Huh, oh, it's a girl, okay. Ah, that would explain the quality. Hey! Weapons from the physical realm are pretty useless here. So if you come across any more, bring them to me. I'm the only spirit, spirit, spirit smith left around here. I can make you a fine spirit weapon with them. 
Oh, a cannon. Wow, it's been some time since we've seen one of these. Actually, this may be the may be the same one. A child like yourself carried it, lugging it around on her shoulder. She always seems so happy. One moment, and I'll have this ready for you. Come back when you find another weapon. Okay, so now we can get rid of the stone pillars. And we have a shotgun. Hello again. I found this shotgun. Oh, no time for pleasantries, I see. I can do something special with this. Oh, you're right, there is a cat statue. I have a fatter, rounder cat? Either that or it's a save point, but I think it just changed my cat to be... chonky. I could be wrong. Hey, why is your cat fat? I don't know. Blobcat, why not? Sup, boss? Well, the shotgun is certainly helping. bit. Too many bones. I think the shotgun is probably my best option. Okay, this got stressful. Oh, and it's starting to rain. Got her. Whew! That really does crank up the intensity as the boss loses the HP. You're not kidding about that. Wow. Alright, so how many more? Four, eight. Ten bosses total. Are you okay? I... I don't know. Your mother... Mother asked you to find your way home. Is that what you want to do? Uh... Maybe we should go back to the chamber you arrived in. That's probably a good place to start. I do feel like this is the kind of game that if you had a little bit, bit of character customization, it could do some really interesting things. Yeah, I can't get more than that. Anything fancy behind the waterfall? No. But yeah, ricochet, homing, piercing, faster shot, bigger shot, stuff like that could be really cool. Interesting, some of the eyes are now glowing. The spirits you freed must be activating these... One, two, three... Huh, ten eyes. So I have to kill more. It'll get easier. Is that a good thing? I suppose not. I don't know. I am... Oh. I miss some things. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. This is cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with the sheer bullet hell nonsense, but I am enjoying it. Uh, oh. There was an area over there. Let's actually go back the other direction around, as I I absolutely missed um, 
some question marks o over wherever, according to the map. We should probably get them. There's also something to the left of here, but I think that's probably a new region. I might as well do things somewhat se sequentially. Okay, so what are we what are we missing around here? It was here. Oh, we didn't have access to this yet, but now we do. All right. What are we looking at here? Oh. Well, that bodes poorly. Luckily, these things disappear after a short period of time. But yeah, a couple of modifiers, honestly, Interestingly enough, I would say Minecraft Dungeons modifiers would be a good example of kind of what I was talking about with uh, with cool, like, shot effects that you could use. I appreciate the fact that there does seem to be a decent arsenal here, and I'm curious what they're going to be like. Uh, but it would be really cool if I had, like, one to two upgrades that I could apply to each weapon. and switch them out according to, like, what I need. Or maybe not all of them would even be shot effects. Maybe one or two of them would actually be character bonuses. Like, uh, that would be... I mean, bonus output would be lovely. Not that I seem to need it right now. I'm actually doing okay. When I was originally watching this game... Uh, like the trailers and the progress gifts, I was a little worried. But I seem to have a handle on it so far, so that's good. You can break some, some bullets with your shots, but not all of them. Okay, so we got that one. Can't break these. Uh oh, right. There is this. Well, this requires me to kill three bosses. That's a super boss. Uh, let's leave that for a bit. That's got big bad written all over it. Oh, I can hug the sheep or lay against them. I'm not entirely sure. A child? Ah, oh, it's been quite some time since we've seen anyone new here, let alone a child. Ah, oh. oh, interesting. You're quite the spirit vessel, aren't you? I can feel your spirit, but also others. Spirit vessel? Ah, yes, sorry. Lonely spirits are drawn to you. They find solace within your aura. I am also a vessel, unfortunately. Unfortunately? Huh? Oh, oh yes. Well, um, we vessels tend to tend towards self-destruction. With so many spirits attaching themselves to us. It's easy to lose your sense of self. Oh. oh! Also, if you come across any stray sheep, let me know. They've been disappearing into the night for a few weeks now. Oh, there it is on the opposite side. So it's a shortcut. We just gotta get access to it. On the opposite side. This is creepy game. Whoops, not that, not this way. Seriously? Oh no, I gotta go. I gotta go to the left. I wonder what happens if you go into a boss chamber a second time around. What is this? 
I don't know, it's just playing with that thing. That's probably a checkpoint marker, if I'd hazard, hazard a guess. Okay. So what do we... We haven't found any new maps. We did have something up here. That, but that's locked off currently. So I want to go over, double check these. I'm happy to see you're doing well, child. Against my better judgment, I must seek, for, seek your help. I'm the last of this garden's original architects. My three peers have long since perished. This was the last chamber we built. Unfortunately, we let pride get the best of us. The statue inside was built as a reflection of our ego, a signature. I was the only one to make it out alive. Honestly, I never thought I would get the chance to bury my friends. I gave up asking your kin for help long, long ago. My kin? But again, you seem different. Please, let me know if, when it's safe inside. Okay, there we go. Oh, and Sheep Man is gone. Creepy. I bet he's eating them. Okay, so we have another boss here. We've got something over there, but we can't get to it. Uh, I'm gonna keep looking around. Die, spirit thing! Another cat statue. So each one of these cat statues is apparently a different skin. Where's this go? Well, I found the sheep. Oh. 45? 45, two. Mono is growing more displeased with her creation by the day. This place was meant for her kind. This interests us. Others like myself are finding their way here, though. Mono has ordered the architect to begin work on the garden. The garden at the end of the world. She wants him to build empty chambers as well. Mono's afraid that if too many of the cosmic beings collect, they will pose a legitimate threat. These chambers will hold them, locking these great spirits away. I fear this is not a sustainable practice. necessarily know if the shepherd is dead. What? Oh, is that 95? Oh, C is 100. What is... What is V then? Or, no, sorry. What is... What is 50? Or is there no... There's absolutely one for 50. Is it L? So that's blinking. Oh, there's chords. Oh, alright. L is 50. Got it. It's nice to finally speak. For so long, I've been buried deep within your spirit. But now, I can feel your sadness, your rage, your ego. I can finally breathe. Can I ask you, when it all becomes too much for you, when you begin to overflow, let me take over, okay? You can trust me. Goodbye for now, Ita. Spirit Overlord. Uh, Overload. Narrowly avoid enemy projectiles to fill your meter and activate Overload. You'll be temporarily invincible and deal greater damage. This spirit, it's so warm. Someone is trying to hide it within the stone fetish. We can use it well, though. 
When I take control, I'll spit streams of fire at our enemies. It will take no extra effort on your part. Until next time, Peter. Ooh, I don't like that. Curious if there's multiple endings or something. Okay, so that's locked off for the time being. I guess let's go down this way, see where the cord links to. Or goopy bits. Uh, what's this? Blah, 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 blah. Um. Zero one, zero one, zero one, zero one. So one, two, three, four, three zeros, and then a one. Zero one, zero one, and then three more ones. You. Hello? Zero one zero one zero zero. Oh, who are you? My name's Ida. Ita. What a pretty name. Thanks, who are you? I'm just some old beast. We were built by your kin long ago, meant to take this place from its creator. It was a failed endeavor. Since then, I've rested here. After so long staring at the same thing, I've grown to not take the small things for granted. If you come across any of my kind along your journey, I'll make sure they remind you to take a moment and enjoy the small things. Take in your surroundings, reflect on your journey, or maybe pet your little cat friend. I like that idea. Good luck out there. There's a door behind that thing. There's also this. Initialize. Please stand to the side. So we tried to kill whatever deity was in here. That's probably a bad idea. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Hello. Hello? You wish to enter the glass garden. I don't think I know what that is. The sky garden above us. Do you wish to enter it? I, I guess. Then you must survive my challenge. Challenge? Freddy? What? Go! Whoop! Soon your memory will only exist through me. Please take this key, the glass garden awaits you. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't shooting the head. I was shooting the black bullets, because I can destroy those. I can feel your spirit, though I'm afraid it will not be enough. Many like you have been called to this place, and many will be called after you perish. No, you haven't died before. I've died before. Everyone here has. True death in the garden is one's mind falling into oblivion. Much like your cat friend. What can I do? Hmm. Embrace oblivion, I suppose. I gotta give this game props. It is probably the most accessible bullet hell I think I've ever played. Can I go in here? No. Why can I not go in a, into a single... One of these freaking houses. Alright, uh... Right, we're gonna go fight the boss over here for this man. Is it safe yet? Not yet. Okay. But yeah, my assumption is a bunch of humans started to, like, move into this garden here. And, uh... Oh, I don't like this.
Let's see. It's a very small arena. I'm gonna make it hard to dodge through everything because I'm just not gonna be able to see it. What? Oh. Okay, I understand. Uh, but yeah, they probably killed Mono. I avoided that somehow. I'm not entirely clear on how or why freaking... That was rough. Yeah, way too small of an environment for me to really work. Alright, let's... See what happens when I die, because this is the first time I've actually died in this game. Do we just stare soulfully? Oh. Okay. Mother. Father. Brother. There you are. For a second I was worried you weren't going to come back. Did I? Yeah, you died. But I'm alive now? Yeah. Life and death are pretty arbitrary here. Eventually your body degrades so much that you just don't bother with it anymore. When did you lose your body? Well, I don't really remember. All my memories and sense of self were lost as well. I honestly have no clue who I was or what I looked at like. But now I'm a cute cat, so who cares? Let's try that again. Shit. Random bounce shot right off the bat. I guess I should be up here. I rolled too slow. Clapped me. I didn't know it could do that. Okay, that's interesting. Sometimes I'll press the roll button, get the iframes, but not get the roll animation. Or the movement. It's weird. Gosh, it was starting to freak out on that last moment. Oh, so the weird, like, clay men are. Uh, the weird clay men are, are dead architects. That's four down. How are you feeling? Sick. I'm sure this is hard for you. If I could help you, I would. What's the alternative, though? Just live here forever? Would that be so bad? There's a reason that your loved ones called on me before their death. They want you to be okay. No one here is okay. We're all stuck. Constantly falling with no end in sight. I understand. Let's get going then. You you made it! Honestly, I, I can't believe you're alive. Everyone who entered before, they all died. But you're... I'm different. What do you mean by that? You arrived through the Void Gate, correct? The cave within the Mountain of Eyes. I, I, I think so. That's the Void Gate. Most perish on the trip over. The ones who don't, well, they eventually find death as well. Thank you, Ita. I can give you my old friends a proper burial now. Wait, I need to know. What's the Void Gate? Huh. I'll be honest, I don't completely know. Some sort of connection, a doorway from other planes to this one. Can, can I use it to go get back? Go home? I don't see why not. I'm not sure anyone has attempted it, though. 
Any time a traveler arrives, the Void Gate's eyes glow with spirit. The Void Gate clearly wasn't meant to be used at our discretion. I assume you'll need to imbue that spirit through force, however. Unfortunately, that's the extent of my knowledge. Sorry, I can't be more help, Peter. Seriously, not even a reward? 